It's tough. I'm not gonna lie, but it's supposed to be tough, you know. Uh, workouts, you know, bro, we work out at 6 a.m. and stuff. So getting up at 5 in the morning, that's already tough in itself. But you got places you want to be. And men are gonna do what they gotta do, so you tell me. I gotta get up at uh, five in the morning to work out at six. Hey, I guess that's what I gotta do. I gotta get up at five in the morning to work out at six. Like at this point, you just wanna buy in, you know, do what you're told to do. Be coachable, be accountable. Stuff like that. So your your pre med does going through this process of, of surgery and rehab give you an understanding of the patients that you might be dealing with down the road as far as empathy and the process of all that? Yeah. See, uh, pre-med, well, all this stuff is, all this hard to balance and stuff. There's <clears throat> just a lot going on, but pre-med and orthopedics and specifically like sports injuries and stuff, there's definitely a chance that I could be working in that field. So when I get hurt and stuff, when other people get hurt, I kind of try to pay attention to what's going on, especially with myself, because that's what I like. You know? Joshua, what's these last couple months been like for you in terms of not only the rehab, new coaching staff, new strength staff? I mean, it's just kind of been a whirlwind for you guys. Uh, for me personally? Or yeah. yeah you. Personally, uh, besides rehab, uh, since I got hurt, I tried to really focus on my grades because I'm about to graduate this summer and stuff. Um, and then since I know that I'm not going to be doing like much in the spring, I'm really trying to focus on my mind and learning the scheme and helping out the younger dudes and stuff like that. So I think where I'm going to be best at in the spring is obviously my mental training and stuff. So younger dudes, you know, they're having a hard time or whatever, I want to be the dude that can go and help them out. And that's going to help me and him at the same time. Have you had a chance to sit down with some of the coaches and start looking at film and going through some schemes and some stuff you can do, like you said, work on the mental part? Yeah. Um, I go, well, we have our meetings, of course, and stuff like that, our mandatory things, but I try to go up and get a little extra whenever I can. I guess I'm not going to be doing much, so why not learn everything mm -hmm. and some more? Are you motivated personally? I mean, a guy coming out as a five-star, number one, all that kind of stuff. I know you've been injuries have kind of slowed you down to kind of live up to that potential this season. You know, that's a lot of pressure and stuff, but <laughs> at the end of the day, I can't worry about what other people are thinking and stuff. I got to handle my business. I know what I can do. I just got to go out and do it. And I'm very motivated. You know, it's, it's not too late or anything, so let's go. Man. Get healthy and just go out and handle my business. Looks like it might be more of a full going back to a 4-3. Is that obviously being a rush end? That's probably a little bit more up your wheelhouse. And how, what's that going to do for you this year? Uh, well, I guess it'll be a little less thinking. Um, we'll have like a three-way go most of the time. So, hey, he's going back. He's rushing. Uh, he sits on us. Um, the tackle sits on us. We go ahead uh, with our gap and stuff. So, I guess it's just more of a true defensive end type of thing which allowed me to play faster and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. Ultimately, just go. Like, just go, don't think, just go, just play, you know? Just play. Yep. All right, thanks, Josh. No problem.